Do you know what's more scary at night than during the day? Spiders. Can you guess what's more scary than seeing a spider at night? Holding a spider at night. Especially when that queen of the nightlife sits upon the throne as one of America's most dangerous arachnids. We have been given access to an abandoned gold mine located just beyond the towering presence of the Superstition Mountains. And tonight we are going to test my luck for a second time. I hope to prove that these venomous spiders are not out to harm humans. Whoa, look at this old car. Man. There's great spots for things to hide in here. It's like it, like it would be perfect for spiders. Man, pop that hood. Definitely have webs in here. Black Widow, right there. Where? Right up in this crevice, right there, yes! Wow, that is a big one, big female. We try to coax her backwards like this, right down and into the container. Oh, oh, oh. got her, yes! Go. Wow, she's dropped right down in there. <laughs> wow, that is a good sized Black Widow. Uh, females are considerably larger than the males, and we can tell it's a female is certainly that quintessential hourglass design. What I'm gonna do is gently just let it crawl out and onto my hand so that we can get a better look at it. This is an extremely toxic arachnid, one of the most toxic, most venomous spiders that lives here in the Southwest. So I wanna remain as calm as possible and just get her into my hand and let her walk naturally. See, she's spinning some web to come down. Okay, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna hang on there. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. That's Black Widow on my hand right there. Do not bite me. Do not bite me. For somebody with arachnophobia, this is about as creepy as it gets. Now, if I stay calm, the spider will stay calm. She may drop down into my hand, where is she? Okay, there she is. You can see my hand just barely shaking there. Steady. Stay put. There we go. Now, the venom of the Black Widow spider, despite its toxicity, is simply used to neutralize and kill its prey. And if you're an insect and you're bitten by this spider, you're pretty much rendered immobile. And then the spider will wrap you up in its web and that venom actually turns the insides of its prey into a delicious little bug milkshake. It's rather quite gross, but that is the best way for a spider like this to drink down its prey. And the only reason I'm letting this arachnid crawl on my body right now is to prove that spiders are not out there to get you. People who suffer from the fear of arachnophobia oftentimes are terrified of an animal like this, thinking it's just out there to get me, but that is not the case. These spiders simply want to be left alone, they want to hunt within the environment, and they're doing quite a bit of good by helping to balance out and eat a lot of the pest insects. Now, this is one of the more toxic creatures that we could find out here. And on a scale of one to five, I would definitely label the Black Widow at a four. Not the most toxic, but if you're bitten by a spider like this, you definitely want to seek medical attention. Small but mighty, the Black Widow spider. Never interact with or attempt to handle a venomous animal. The purpose of this encounter was to exemplify that spiders are not out to get us. However, that doesn't mean that they want to be friends. If you encounter one in your tool shed, your house, or your old rundown sports car, contact a local entomologist and they will gladly show up to safely remove the unwanted spider.